Hey, what's going on, YouTube? It's you. It's your boy, Lich Slayer 9000. That's right, I did not get left back in the AG&D series. We're, we're back with more Farewell to Arms. Lich Slayer 9000, go away. We're done with you. We are going to be playing as robot just on a normal run. I, I'm very tempted to play as the pilot with the pistol, but you know what? We got to go through. We, we did not unlock the new weapon, the golden weapon, with the marine when we went to the Lich. Strangely enough, Sprun unlocked. Sprun unlocked. What? <laughs> so that, that leads me to believe that it is, you get it for killing, either killing the past or doing a rainbow run. So we will, by process of elimination, we will be going to kill robots past today, uh, hopefully. <laughs> Shouldn't be too bad. I mean, Robot is a fun character. You know, if you're, you know, for the gun initiated, you're going to get some spoilers on the characters. I'm, I'm not going to be doing a fresh save file, at least not for a while. That is something I will dabble with at some point, I'm sure. But for right now, you're going to get some some spoilers. If you want to learn everything fresh, I'm sure there's another, another place. Or you could start with my series from the very, very beginning, if you feel like it. Or you don't have to. But the robot is a character that you unlock by spoilers incoming, taking the broken television that's in the elevator shaft all the way to the forge. But the problem is, you know, it, it does... Every time you roll, you drop it on the ground. So that's that character, how you unlock it. This is it right here. He's got a, a different issue, though. He only can have armor. He cannot get health upgrades. Does not have any red heart containers. Blah, 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 blah. Wow. The game is saying, you should have taken this last time. We tried to give this to you three times on your rainbow run, so here you go. Thanks, game. Fight Saber is a banger. Supreme, even. A banger supreme. But yeah, Robot cannot get health upgrades, so he's going to be eternally kind of being chipped away slowly. So he's not necessarily a beginner-friendly player or character, but the thing is, once you are a little bit more familiar with the game, his starter weapon is really good, and the ability to get damage from junk can turn out to be really beneficial. He also starts with a massive, massive accuracy up and a spacebar item that allows you to... Oh, we're going to do it. Don't even care. Don't even care. Table tech heat. Let me guess. Sets everybody on fire around the table. So he can throw down the coolant and electrocute it. Bada bing, bada boom. The character has been explained. That was a bad idea. Oh. <laughs> uh, got a little bit of hiccups, okay. Ooh, oh, is it fire radius? Oh, baby. How long does it, does it last forever or last as long as the... No, it does not last forever, but it lasts a really long time. I'll be honest. I was expecting... Uh, I was expecting Duke, but instead, I, this might be, we got a rainbow chest, oh my god, that is outrageous, it's been like a couple hundred hours since I've gotten a rainbow chest last, and we got this syn synthetic shield, Synergy. So we have this orbiting synthetic uh, ammo crate around us, which is amazing. I, I think that if we get the. I can't believe this. If we get the ammo synthesizer now, we I believe we get a an orbital of all three of them. This is just ridiculous. Why even bother doing anything? anything at all we got so, this run is just stupid so did they increase the chances of getting rainbow chests like we don't have the rainbow chest modifier on we don't i know for sure because we wouldn't have been able to pick up all these items otherwise we would not have been able to pick them all up otherwise so this is just boy what a meme can we buy this key? We can buy the key. Take the key. Go to the sewers. 
which is up here. Okay. <laughs> God. Uh, Rito blinds. This is going to be probably really, really easy. Really, really easy. But we'll we'll see. I might find the way to bungle it up. Uh, armor synthesizer is really, really beneficial for the robot because you know it helps with the one little thing he has some some issues with and. I really thought that guy was dead. I thought for sure this was gonna do plenty. Wow. Uh, it helps with his one issue, which is the, the fact that he does not get permanently increasing red health. That's really the downside he has, and that's it. The rest of, the rest of uh, his stuff makes him a really good character, a character that by all intents and purposes, if he was regular otherwise, would be overpowered as hell. Gotta remember to flip all them tables. I'm into this. I really like this new table tech. It seems... It seems usable. Both of the new ones seem really usable. So... Uh, should I... I might just go and junk that chest. We definitely don't need items. <laughs> it's bizarre. Bizarre. Definitely don't need items at this moment. So, maybe we could just go for a little bit of damage upgrade, save our keys for a little bit later in the run when there's chests that are... Okay. Chests that are a little bit more enticing for us. Skull Spitter. Don't have any synergies, so... And honestly, <laughs> we got so many good weapons. We could probably cheese pretty easily with the Particulator and the Orb. Yep. Yep. So basically, the way the life orb works, if you don't know, and for the gun initiated. If you kill somebody while you're holding it, you do not need to even kill them with the weapon. If you're holding it, you get the ability to press the reload button and do a room-wide AoE, like, explosion, I guess? For lack of a, of a better word. So it's kind of ridiculous with these delayed kill weapons like Particulator. Really lets you get stupid in the best way possible. Got him. Oh, didn't got him. Didn't got him. Also with the Table Tech Fire or Table Tech I don't know, Pepper Blaze uh, Flaming Hot, I think it's called. Table Tech, uh, Doritos Locos Tacos, Flamin' Hot. Gotta say, it's a good taco. It's a good one. Good taco. I think we are gonna bust this chest wide open. No thank you. So we got a 5% damage upgrade now just by having junk. Even if we sell the junk, we get that 5% damage upgrade forever because we're robot. That's just... One of the things that whoop, is supposed to help balance out the the boy, make him uh, make him stronger, but honestly, he don't need no help. He's a strong, independent robo who don't need no help. I'm trying way too hard. Oh, so we need to. The fire does not count. Fire does not count. Good to know. But I really, I'm loving this combo, though. Requires very little brain power. My favorite. Ammo, or armor synthesizer, gave us our first little glimpse into shield hood. We could, like, actually, okay, I'll take it. I'm excited, I like it. I'm excited, I'll take it. Are we gonna junk all of these? seems a bit excessive but also they're not exciting they're just blue chests I'm gonna junk it yeah I'm gonna junk it and we'll use the key on the other on the uh, second secret floor if we can and worst comes to worst we get another let's see we get another key that we get to bring to the next floor you know like that's not a big deal Got him. Send his own children back at him. Hup. 
I mean, we could save a lot of ammo that way. Why'd I do that, you ask? Well, clearly that is a top Gungeoneer secret. With no good answer. <laughs> it's what we call in the business a whoops. The judge. Anybody got a ruby bracelet? Anybody got any more of them uh, ruby bracelets? Can there be a secret room in here? I don't... Maybe. No, come on. Disappointment. Disappointment! Take our money and run. We bought the key, didn't we? Alright, so now... Spoilers incoming for the gun initiated about the second secret floor. And that is the fact that we have the special shield from the sewers there. We need to bring it all the way to the altar on this floor. And that will bring us to the Abbey the True Gun, where we will fight what is maybe one of the harder bosses in the game in relation to where you fight them. That is a strong ghost. So we'll, uh, we'll, we'll run into a trial, but I'm not too worried. First of all, we do have to make it there, though. So that's pretty important. But I'm just going to do every single thing in my power to get that ruby bracelet. That's my top goal right now. Priorite numero uno. Uh... Huh. Back to these. I'm really liking it. I don't care. I don't care. Is it wasteful? Probably. But also, it just works so well. So, can it be wasteful and nice at the same time? I say yes. That was a freebie room. Okay. Like, like literally. Pretty sure there's supposed to be people there. Like, like, literally. Whoa. Oh! Jeez! No. Not like this. I typically find this to be the better way to do this room. I'm less likely to be hit doing it that way. Trash Cannon does have a synergy with junk. But it doesn't... Doesn't get me going. We are probably just going to go and do the rat, but for real this time. Give me our soul. Thank you. Thanks for the shield too, dude. Good shot. It's a mimic. Ah, we got the... I Totally forgot we have the, the clown mask. So we have the little blank boy. Flame hand. Into it. Is this the shrine? Good deal. Here's the shrine. Our special shield turns into a normal shield and we get access to the second secret floor. Bada bing bada boom. Maybe there's going to be something hidden on the Abbey of the True Gun. Even. We don't know. And before I forget, for the third time... We got the rat key. You can see if there's anything special down there as well. Whoa. What else we got? I think we should probably be using this, yeah? I think we can reflect these, but I don't feel like chancing it. You don't make me feel like chancing. Chancing the night away? I don't know. But be better if I knew the lyrics to the song I was referencing. As is off to the case. You gotta be kidding me. Again? I'm almost wondering. Guys, 
Would she kill me? Would you absolutely kill me if we tried to give this admit one ticket to the South Creek? Because we got it on the first episode. I feel like I'm on to something. I feel like... The fact that we got it twice now strikes me as a little suspect. Strikes me as a little suspect. I'm happy to have him until then, though. We get ourselves a sweet bodyguard until the hollow, if that's the case. Oh, baby. We do want to find that there are... There's always... I think there's always two secret rooms on this floor. One of them has a little chest that gives you a free item or a guaranteed item called Lies, which acts as junk, so we could could probably look for that. Well, when we, we want to. Want to. We'll see what we can do. Oh, come on. Jammed enemies have 300% extra health. Huh. Hopefully this is a nice refresher for a lot of people who aren't part of the gun initiated, but who don't know everything they wish they knew. Because, uh, I, I won't be doing it for forever, I absolutely promise. Bottom. 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 It's like Jaws, but, uh, with, uh, with a butt. Bottom. Bottom, bottom. Hello, nice to meet you. I'm five. I feel like I have to be on to something with that admit one. Like, I feel like that's this the next secret floor. Because it's it's just too dang suspicious. It's just too dang suspicious. Grants me your soul. Really? There's almost always the secret room in the chest rooms on this floor. Whoops. We'll see though. Bum, 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 bum. Let's answer some Discord questions. Why the heck not? Lavarian, the Twitch subscriber. That's right. You get a shout out if you're a Twitch subscriber or a Patreon supporter. Uh, what... Okay, what are your thoughts on the Zelda Necrodancer crossover? A banger supreme. I Will I play it on the channel is going to be probably the question that comes up after that for uh, for people. And the answer to that is pr unfortunately probably no, because I tried to play Crypt of the Necrodancer on, uh, on the channel, and I just, I couldn't do it because that game, it's a, it's a roguelike if you're not, for people who aren't aware, it's a roguelike, but you have to do everything, uh... Okay, it's a grid-based roguelike, that's important to know. And every move has to be done to a rhythm. And I just found it way too hard to play well commentating. I can play it decently off-camera, but, uh, as far as on-camera, it's just, they don't work, man. It's hard to... Like, you're, I'm already splitting my, my brain in uh, more ways than you probably think. And then having to do the game to the rhythm, dude? Jeez Louise, man. It's rough. Some people can do it and it's it's amazing. I could probably do it with a lot of practice. But maybe, maybe I will, because that is so cool. And it's just, it's really outstanding. Like, I love the fact that Nintendo trusts them to, uh, you know, to, to make a good game out of their IP, but because Crypt of the Necrodancers, it's a relatively small company, right? Like, it's it's not even in the top, like, probably top five most well-known roguelikes, or it may be number, like, it might be number five. So the fact that they get the ability to do that is so cool. What do you got, punk? Again? Gun boots, they go down well. I mean, down well. We could, <laughs> we could try to sell these too because they're not that great of an item. I, I, I think I'm way more onto something with the admit one ticket, with the ticket to the gun show. It's 
See, I thought it was a one a one trick joke. I thought it was just the, uh, the ticket to the gun show business, but maybe it's a double whammy. Maybe it's a ticket to the secret. Oh, double blank boy follower. The baby good mimic is going to turn into whatever. Hoxton, Houston, Paxton, Presley, Elvis. It's based off of Payday 2. I've never played Payday 2. All right. Let's bop a king. You got the Galingal. It's easy mode time, suckers. He's so strong. And the thing is, he just, it takes no time at all to charge up the admit one ticket. The, uh, I think it's just called a ticket. Also not to mention that uh, Fight Saber is a banger supreme. And we have two guys that are going to be shooting out blanks to protect us. This is a very strong run. Thank you, Rainbow Chest. I almost feel like they have to have made them more common. Whoop. Oh, God, we ran out! We ran out! We were going to perfect him if we didn't run out of ammo. Get him, bucko. That's insane. I wonder if the battle standard that increases the uh, the damage that your followers do in extends to the Gatling Gull, who already does a lot of damage. Should I be a coward? No. We don't need to buy health. Wait, there's a chest in here too? What? What the hell? You get a synergy chest for beating the old king now? Oh, baby. Oh, baby. I'll take that. I mean, I'm a, I'm very annoyed because I don't have any keys, but, like, that's a really big deal. As far as, like, making me interested in showing up. Hell yeah, I'll go to the Abbey of the True Gun. Sign me up. Genius. Like, if it's always a synergy chest... Genius. Otherwise, if it's just like... Wait, hold on. Okay. If it's just a chest, still exciting. But if it's always a synergy chest, that's genius. Because it's still, it's still only a 50% chance of getting a synergy. So it's like... It's still like not insane. Whoops. Okay. We should be using this, like, all the time. The cooldown is effectively non-existent. You're mine. We should be using this. The shell's really good, too. Like, a lot of items have been tweaked, and I have no, ah, no idea how, and it's gonna be, like, nearly impossible to to notice minor tweaks oops didn't mean to do that so like i'll probably have to wait for uh the wiki to update wait for things to come out ah shucks i wish i wish but i i feel like i'm onto something so that lets us unlock every chest after fighting a, a little bit of a fight, just a bunch of enemies spawn, and then we get to open it up for free, like a little payday heist. And it does give us another follower. I think that one was the one with the taser? He sh says with complete surety. Absolutely. You, you know me. That's what I know. I didn't see if he had the taser or the shotgun. But that's a synergy with the payday items, you know. But alas, oh well. We'll get that another time. We've had that a whole bunch. It's a cool item. It's really, really valuable. People who are gun initiated, that one is, is amazing. If you are running into a lot of issues where you're spending all your money on health, and you think you can handle a little fight in the chest room now and then, that is a great way to sp still spend all of your money on health. 
and then like to keep yourself alive while being able to actually get items still that's a very important one you do need to spoilers incoming steal it from the shop otherwise you need to get it for an insane amount of money uh holy grail is amazing we don't have the ability to steal so buying from Cursula gives you 2.5 curse plus whatever the curse of the item is, which is either one or two. But you can steal it to make it only give you one extra curse instead of the 2.5. We don't have the ability to steal though. Let's maybe get it anyways, because it's just too dang good. It's too good to not get. This makes so every time we get hit, we heal up or we restore 50% of all, all of our guns ammo. Ridiculous. Even on Robot, who doesn't have replenishable health, it's ridiculous. Another one that's like a must-buy if you see it in a shop as a beginner. Just too too dang good to pass up. It's, it's run-shapingly strong. Man, I really wish we could use the drill. We are also going to be looking for the rat. Oh, come on. Did that the rocks? Oh, we don't even have the thing in our secondary anyways. Okay. Uh, no, thank you. Should be using some standard stuff, too. I just, I love, ah, I love that combo we got so much. It just works together so well. Hello, Lonk. I will reveal the map for you. I wish they added a way to get those items. <laughs> I'm too fast! It's okay, I just wanted to get my ammo back. Obviously. Elder Blank is really good too, but I'm not gonna drop my item I've got. Loot bag is good with an asterisk. Extra money from everybody. I just don't even want that. Well, maybe they made it better. Maybe they made it better. We'll try. It gives you extra money, but every time you're you're hit, you lose money. So I'm gonna actually drop that on the boss here, tactically. Eh! Stupid. Stupid. Alright. I I don't think it, it doesn't seem much different. Push these away. I think you can even reflect them back at them. Uh-oh. We got really lucky there. Good deal. I'm just assuming the rat, the, uh, get, the gull is going away. So he's just clearly a mercenary. Like, he's just in it for the money. saw you. I saw you. You can't fool old Rito McGee. Rito the god. Two items! Two items from the Mimic pedestal? You've got to be kidding me. That's amazing. That's so good. Now you want Mimics. So bad. Like, you kind of wanted Mimics before because they... Um, this might get you a, a way to, I don't know, you, you might be able to get to a secret place from there because there is a hidden thing in the game before. Where is the rat room, though? Also, we don't have a key. I am unwise! It's, uh, without fail, without fail, I, I always 
forget one component of the rat stuff. Always, without fail. I didn't even see the rat... The rats, where were they? What if... Can we... What if I drop the Nod key... Hold on. What if I drop the Nod key in the grate? That's another thing that could maybe be it. I mean, we don't have a key, so I, like, I don't... There's no point. There it is. There's no rats in here. Am I wrong? Am I wrong? Strange. It's big strange. So, yeah, we don't have any way of getting in. If we had the uh, the lock pick, the drill, rather, we would have been able to get in. But you know what? I'm, I'm actually going to pretend that this was on purpose. This was tactical. Anyone who thinks otherwise? Oh, chat. I mean, comments. <laughs> this isn't Twitch. Comments. Please. Please let them know it was on purpose. Clearly. I wouldn't do that as a mis as an accident. I, I don't make that kind of a mistake. We all make mistakes, everybody. Except for me, apparently. Oh. That was pretty nice. Blame on. When are they remaking Fantastic Four? Again. For the, what, the third time? They, they already, wait. For the, remade for the second time. I guess they made it. Didn't they make it? Reboot that was people hated or something. I didn't see the reboot. I was young when the, the first one came out. Not insane young, but like pretty young. I liked it more than it probably deserved. Excuse me. I love that. Ah! So dumb. So dumb. Don't need to be doing it. But I can. I'm doing it because I can. We could have had the full shebang of the, uh... Uh oh. There we go. Of the payday synergy. Would have been nice. Okay. But honestly, like, we've had that a lot of times. It's, uh, it's not that big of a deal. It's not like getting Cormoran, which, uh, that's gonna be an entirely new story. Like, did they... I wonder if they made it easier to get. Oh. Can't believe I got out of that one. That's, like, very much, uh... I bet you're wondering how I got myself in this situation. Cargo Battle is a banger. Banger Supreme, even. Makes it so when you reload, you have a chance to do a little active reload. Uh, Gears of War? Gears of War style? And if you do it accurately, you cut down your reload time, and you also get uh, a big boost to your damage for that whole cliff or whatever. So, really nice. I'm going to riot if uh, there is no cell creep this time. I bungled this. What's going on here? Gun drop does not really work with uh, Kaga Battle. Can't really, can't really mix both. Yet he just keeps trying. It's hard. I've been doing it the whole run now. Wow. See, there we go. We just got hit, so we lost a bunch of money because of loot bag. That's the downside to the item. One of the few items with a downside. But you can tactically drop it before a boss or something in the boss room. Like you saw me do if you're afraid of getting hit. Come on. 
Hello, Mr. Evil Man. <laughs> Alright. Crossing all the fingers I have. Well, we hope that the... First of all, the cell creep is even here. He is here. All right. I was wrong. Uh, how about, how about a lot of junk? Foo foo foo. I love it. Oh yes, thank you. Did you bring something? So he likes the junk. All right. Oh my god. Holy crap. What? All right, we did it. I'm guessing it was just sell a certain amount of stuff. That actually was a jump scare for me. Oh my god. Holy crap. That was Okay. The mad man he did it. I don't know which part of the thing it was that we needed to do. My best guess at this moment is just sell a certain amount of items, because... Quite frankly... Oh! Uh, stupid, stupid. I don't even really care, though, to be honest. I'm just... I'm just still reeling from that, from that explosion. It... It genuinely shocked me. <laughs> Sorry for the, uh... The ears... Disaster as well. But, uh, I got scared. Should've definitely dropped my, uh, my bag. And I'm, I'm not going to... No way, I'm not gonna use any of my keys for anything here, because if we get to the next floor and we needed the keys... Then... Oops. But, wow. Big wow. I mean, I could tell, like... That's, you, it was obvious that that's where a secret was going to be. Just knowing the natural progression of things. Like, something that shows up on this floor every time. Oh, awesome. It was gonna be there. I don't really like this item, but we don't have one, so we might as well. I don't care. I'm taking all my keys down. I'm not gonna, not gonna do anything. Okay. R and G department. R and G. Really? Okay. We are in a tower. Things are a little dusty. There's a pirate. There's pirates. There's a cactus. I don't know what that one is. Just wearing like a little wizard thing. That guy's got a mustache. Don't know what's happening here, but I like it. I wish these guys weren't jammed so I could see their beautiful little sprites better. Uh, is that just a fridge? Snake? Dead snake. Okay. Cool. God, I'm so glad that I'm really OP. Necronomicon? 
Okay. Are they all actors or something? What's going on? Toilets, we're in the bathroom. I'm just afraid I'm gonna blow it. What? These are like dynamite dogs. So are these just, they kind of just look like reskins of other enemies maybe? That's like a, or maybe they have slight differences? Huh. Uh oh. He's not even a, okay. I've never seen you. He's not even a boss. He's not even a boss. Okay. Holy moly. Cactus from the, what? From the unused Wild West level? Okay. This is a new enemy for sure. These are different versions of the tombstone ones from the Lich. A lot of this stuff looks like Hegemony. Okay, this... Is that Caliber? Okay. It's like the sixth chamber. Is this something we have to figure out? I don't know if there's something we need to remember or just uh, flavor. Okay, well, we saw it all now, so we can keep it in mind. What on earth? We're in some kind of lab. Some kind of lab. door still closed. I am titillated. So yeah, he's just, n he's not even a boss. He's just a large enemy. Holy moly. But yeah, they seem like they're just tweaked versions of other enemies, maybe. I don't know what this guy is. He's bamboozling me. Alright, we're not gonna do that yet. Oh, we are gonna do that yet. That looks like the boss. But hold on. Why... Okay, so there's clearly, like, some kind of significance of going from these more office type things into this large hallway taking us into here where the music shifts all right going up it's a boss it's you to bullet hell. what agonim Cam Clark as Agonim. Okay. Voice acting what? In my gungeon? More likely than you may think. Oh my god. There's a ladder. Doesn't, uh, doesn't seem to do anything? All right, let's actually start shooting at him again. Oh my god. All right. Yeah, the ladder doesn't do anything, so. Ah, no. I'm so glad we have a, a bajillion hearts. What a weird attack. Huh. And a fight saber for the first time we get to fight him. What on earth? I'll kill you, then my past. I'll 
I'll kill you then my past. He's trying to what on earth? What? Katana bullets. Katana. Cortana. It's Katana. All right. Wow. Okay. New boss hype. Camera Luxon Cannon. What? All right, back to the gungeon. Jeez Louise. Voice acting. As Agonim. Cam Clark as Agonim. <laughs> okay. Well, that was exciting. I'm glad I got it figured out. So it's like admit one. It's almost like that was supposed to be like we were going to a to a movie almost. Right? Is that the is that the gist? Am I am I off base? Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Okay. So that was this that's definitely the secret floor in the secret boss that they, they mentioned. Very cool. Very cool environment. A lot of enemies that I think might have been unused enemies. So maybe they were what? Like... I'm so confused. Like, I want to theory craft this son of a gun. But I, I don't know. It almost looked like they were... Like... Because they were all in, like, costume. It's almost as if it was, like, a movie set or something. I don't know. I don't know, man. Like, to explain all of the the weird things left in the files, they're just like, that. those are all just characters in costumes? Is that the, is that the idea? Because there's a lot, of, a lot of stuff alluding to, what, like a desert level, office level, stuff like that in the files. And they want, maybe they just wanted to find a way to tie it all together, or maybe that was the plan all along. Either way, it was a... It was, ex it was exciting, and if I had a weaker build, it looks like it might have been a doozy. And you do get an item and a bonus chest at the end of it, so... Seems worth it to do on, like, the vast majority of your runs. Very cool. Oh, dumb. I wonder, though, like, how, like, for repeating it. I think that we probably just need to sell a certain amount of stuff, or maybe a certain dollar value, certain, you know, price points worth in order to get in. Because I, I would be kind of confused, to be frank, to be honest, to be frank, to be... I'm, I'm all of the things, don't you worry. Uh, it'd be a little strange if you had to have the ticket. The master rounds wouldn't be that surprising. First gun night thing. But we have what? Downwell boots, synergy, nighttime. When we this is when we get hit, we freeze time. That's what it is. When we get hit, we freeze time, like the full bullet effect. Hi Blockner. Like this. You can use it to uh, pick up all our money. Oh. Okay, I got another chest. I wonder how we unlock... Okay, kind of really useless as this character. Heals us when we buy stuff from the shop. Heals us with red hearts when we buy stuff from the shop. It's. I feel like it's... Pretty bad on characters that do have red health. I'd say it goes down as maybe one of the worst items you can get as a robot. But, I mean, 
At least it sells for something. The admit one ticket. Hold on. Maybe it's not like a movie. I, I realized that maybe that's not required. That's probably not required. Right? If it blew up... If it blew up immediately, I'd be like, I've done it. I've cracked the code. Put me in, coach. I know how to solve this. I, I know how to solve this this football game, coach. Uh, no, but I... But alas, I'm getting hit like crazy because I'm trying to like theory craft on the fly. Whoop. But I think that it really is maybe just a set amount of like number of items. So maybe it isn't a movie set. Or maybe it still is, just coincidentally, but... I don't know. It seems like they were making some kind of uh, demony creatures. Looked like Caliber was under there. Wrapped things up with that, I, I think. I think they just wanted to tie up all the loose ends in the files, and they, they had a, a, a really nice, clever little way to do it there. I like it. I like it a lot. It would be fun to see a full-on desert level. Maybe the Gunslinger has a desert-themed past. I don't even know if he has a past. I don't even know how to get him. I'm pretty sure he's real. Pretty sure he's real. <laughs> he's in the promotional one, so I'm guessing he is. I was hired longer. Let's read this again, just in case. To make guns for the one who built this place, a powerful wizard, but that one, and fascinated by firearms, but he needed a smith. He was always experimenting with them, infusing magic where others walked with a staff. He strode with a strap. I think he was worried that guns would make the magics of the old world obsolete, and that way I guess he was right. Then the great bullet hit, and neither I nor my sister ever saw him again. It wasn't too long before others came to investigate what happened. They quickly realized visiting this place was a permanent decision. When the planar lead was abundant and before Gundead took hold of this place, the ones who got out spread the word and the legend of the Gungeon was born. Second chance, right, wrongs, riches, fame, a thousand reasons to risk your life must have been a tempting proposition to those who heard the tale, or at least those who believed it. We still aren't sure why the bullet struck or where it came from. All I know is for sure it was that gun he was working on when it happened. My sister traded for new guns, new artifacts for him to study. She's able to get things from outside the Gungeon sometimes, and I had this forge, so I got to work. You could un if I could undo anything, it would be to stop the bullet from ever being fired. And that I'd never step foot in here, but that's impossible without the bullet. Never would have been the gun. Okay, for us to know, for us who knew this place before, the power of the gun is hollow. Oh well. All right, cool deal. But <laughs> I'm gonna move on. This answers none of my questions. Unless Agnum is the the wizard, because... Oh, hold on, what's the name of... What's the name of the uh, the purple wizard creature? That's not Agnum. I don't know, I'm not going to theorcraft. I'll leave that to never named. Oh. Um? Terry not, they come for you? Drink of the waters? Uh, let's pretend that we didn't see this. My guess is this is... I think this might actually be legit a glitch. Funny enough. I think it's legitimately a glitch. But maybe I'm not. I'm not right. Maybe that's, uh... Maybe that's the secret path to unlock other character. Terry not, they come for the... I mean, that... That's something that it would say normally. That cleanses your curse for a price. We had a little bit of curse. So, I don't know. I don't know, man. What do you think, Ruble? <laughs> Whoop. Whoop. 
Okay. What a strong, strong build. What a bizarre, bizarre run. I, I'm, I'm into this update. It, it is a nice, nice little end cap to the game at this point. That, that's my current, current opinions for anyone who's curious. I'm, I'm excited so far. Every, every new thing I've seen, I've been into. I've liked it. Some of the new items feel pretty darn strong, but that's not necessarily a problem. We still have the uh, new character to, uh, to unlock. However one achieves this, I don't know. Maybe they'll be in the... Maybe one of them will be in the breach, to be honest. Gunslinger? That'd be great. We might even just need to beat the Lich with all the characters to unlock Paradox, for all I know. Because we have done it already, but the game clearly doesn't know that I've already... or beat the pass with all the characters again. I don't know. I don't know. I think we'll get it eventually here. Strange. There's the mimic pedestal, or the pedestal. I'm confused. Is it not... Is it not a glitch? <laughs> can't take it. You can't take my stuff. Can't shoot it. I think it's a glitch. And it would make sense that the, uh... That this, uh, pedestal would be glitched out as well. Because it looks like it's something to do with the... Pedestal Mimic sprites. Anywho, on to the past, unless we notice anything strange. We got the bullet, right? We did, we did grab the bullet. Okay. I'm gonna kill you and then kill my past, that guy said. I would, I wonder if our past is gonna change? Probably not. Nope, same past. Emperor's Arena, past 117 years prior. Okay. Please proceed. Bots don't shiv, man. Ye who have put the slaughter more humans than any other of our kind have earned the highest honor. We have captured the leader of the human resistance, the last hope for humanity, and it is ye who shall crush her and finally put an end to this insignificant rebellion. Now, disassemble her. Follow protocol. We never, I, you know what? We could try to break protocol. We, it, it never used to do anything, but maybe it does now. That's something we could try. Hook. Oh. Could definitely take a look at that. Hook. Oh. My goodness. My goodness. Should probably kill the ads. Should probably kill the ads. So are the pasts harder, or is it really just because I have not done them in forever? I think it might be the latter. Oh, got two blanks yet, too. And goodbye, last human. Humans are dumb, lol. Ye are victorious. Ye have saved the planet from the human menace. The killbot army will clean up the remaining vermin. Our purpose is now fulfilled. Further function is not required. Entertain entering low power mode. Entertaining low power mode. All right. <laughs> Fell on my gun. Okay. All right. All right. It looks like a normal normal ending then. Thanks for playing. You kill the past. The gungeon remains. 
I'll be very curious to see if we unlocked anything, though. I don't know if, like, a, a new character or even just, like, maybe a new item. Third-party controller. We already got that blank for us. We got that last time. Ma magazine rack. Run. Baby good shellatin! Katana bullets. All right. Baby good shellatin. That's adorable. That's a gosh dang adorable. All right. No new character unlocked. Okay, so trying to Grungeoneer's success, we did not get anything. All right, I guess that's that answers that. So for that, we need to do Rainbow Mode, I'm guessing. Gunner. Oh, is that like the reference to the game Gunner? That game is real good. Yeah, take a look at that right quick. If we can. I mean, we won't really, we won't have any extra information about it, but we'll probably get it soon. Tetrominator, that was in the files, I think. It's like a, a very clearly uh, a Tetris reference. All right. So no clue what that second challenge is there still. One day I will find my control rod and escape. I don't know if that was something, I think that's probably something he said before. Otherwise, we could look for the control rod. I don't know what that would look like or anything. But, so, I guess maybe next time we'll either, we'll do another rainbow mode and keep on looking for the ruby bracer, bracelet. I don't know. If it can show up in a rainbow chest, it's probably just as likely, if not more likely, that we can make it happen on a rainbow run. But that is going to do it for today. Thank you, everybody, for watching. I greatly appreciate any support you wish to leave on the series up to this point. Subscribe for daily Enter the Gungeon videos. Join the Discord if you want to ask a question that will be answered in the video, or just talk about Gungeon, get help with the game, talk about anything else on my channel, or just talk. Follow on twitch.tv slash retromation to catch me streaming, especially streaming Enter the Gungeon. Comment if you have something to say. Don't if you don't. Like if you like it. Don't if you don't. Thank you, thank you. See you next time.